We will now begin our hands-on session with a sample lesson. Once you have your lesson ready to record, click on Screencast-O-Matic, launch the Screencast-O-Matic software, click on Use Free Version. When you do that, you can actually um, resize. We recommend full HD because that is the best option. YouTube upload. So notice that there is a toggle uh, button here or, or keystroke. The keystroke for toggling the record and pause is Alt P. Depending on how you move your frame, the buttons will go up if you push the frame down. To the top left, you will see the Start Recording button. When you're ready, that's where you click. I've just shown you how to select the frame size. In this case, we are going to do a YouTube upload, so it is full FD. You can also actually um, select a cam, a webcam to record, but I'm not going to show you that because then I'm going to turn it off and then uh, it's going to stop. So, so now we are we're ready to record. I'm going to use the keystroke Alt P. So basically you want to wait for, you want to set to presentation and uh, wait for the prompts um, at the top and at the bottom here to go away before you actually start recording. You cannot do editing with screencast or matic because it's uh, just a screen capture so you want to wait for all those prompts to, to leave the, uh, the region before you start. Welcome to screencasting a sample lesson. Today we're going to talk about total, well we're going to talk about cholesterol. So just as an example, the, here are some uh, learning objectives to compare and contrast good and bad cholesterol, to identify healthy versus unhealthy fat and food, which will not be covered here, and make healthy choice, uh, healthy food choice, which is actually uh, this, this, this learning objectives was crafted for a, a bigger lesson than, than what I'm going to show you today. After you watch or after you have viewed the um, learning object from the American Heart Association, where I earlier on had shown you a sample output, that, that is what this is, um, you would summarize from that learning object the total cholesterol score comprised of HDL, high density lipoprotein, LDL, low density lipoprotein, and triglycerides. And um, as part of a bigger lesson, you know, I would have suggested for the participants to use social, free social media to capture their daily food choice on say using Instagram, Tumblr or Pinterest just so that they can see what they're eating and uh, think about whether they were healthy choices or not. So what are the consequences of high cholesterol? Watch the video and uh, take notes. After you have taken the notes, uh, share with your peers in a discussion forum that will be set up for you and share what you what are the key points you took away from this video so as an example of a lesson say we end here i would then or we would then look at the buttons up there you can pause at any time that you're recording or in this case i'm done what you get after you click done you would have to make a choice what do you want to do with this recording you want to publish it? Wait, publish to YouTube is really popular. 
But first thing I'm going to do is to publish to a video file. But before I do that, you would want to play and see. This is a three three minute video or thereabout. After you watch it, you can decide if you're gonna discard it or if you're gonna keep it. If you so decide to keep it, then you would, uh, in this case, I'm gonna show you how to publish it. Publish it, click on uh, publish to video file. And this is the settings. It will, the output will be a MP4. Uh, you decide if you want full size, HD size or something else you can type in notes captions um, advanced options are these you make a choice how you want to set it and then save the video so I've got to give it a name I'll call it this and save yeah I'm gonna overwrite because I did this several times so it is rendering right now. So now the file is saved to video in MP4 format. Click on back and you, you will return to this section where you can decide if you want to publish to YouTube. And I want to show you this example. Publish to YouTube. Screencast digital recording with screencast or matic all right hmm. this is screencasting tool number one for the the haze online learning 2014 you can choose a you can type in a tag category you can choose mine is education you can make the YouTube uh, public or private I'm gonna make it public because I need to show the participants you would have to have a YouTube account otherwise you won't be able to upload to YouTube so get that ready um, because I was using Google presentation just now so I'm actually logged in already I'm ready now to upload to YouTube. So it is now ready. So the file now is uploaded to YouTube. So we'll click on that and watch it. We also have we've we have also saved the file to video in MP4 format. So I'm gonna click on When you click on this hyperlink, it would launch the YouTube application and it will be rendering. So while it is rendering, you can actually click on video manager. Videos. You can click the YouTube setting. to high definition high definition can you see before we end the hands-on session I would like to just show you this table uh, that would uh, clarify what is free and what is not free screencast-o-matic and dosary they are both free Screencast-O-Matic is a screen capture recording that can be used on PC, laptop, or Macbook. Dosary is an iOS app. It is really an interactive whiteboard, so you will need to use your iPad. Now, if you use Dosary on desktop, on a PC or a Mac, it is chargeable. So we're, that's why we're not going to show that during the workshop. Um, and both the Screencast-O-Matic and Dosri are recording tools, so they do not have the editing function. Um, a very popular tool for editing is Camtasia. We have had questions about Camtasia. It's uh, by TechSmith. 
Camtasia with Camtasia you can do screen recording as well as video editing on a PC, a laptop or a Mac. This is not free. You can use it for a 30 day trial and then it is you'll need a license. So this is where we will end. Um, thank you.